my name is Brian Snyder, and I'm currently Chief Operating Officer at Black Swan Data. Black Swan Data is a SaaS company that aims to disrupt primary research by using AI and social data to really understand and predict consumer trends to help companies get to market faster and just in a smarter way. I've been there for about three years and really focus on making sure we're growing in the right way at the right rate, and also we're doing that as effectively and efficiently as we can. Well, I am pretty open. I think most people know many of my quirks. Uh, but one thing is definitely that I still get very nervous before any presentation, especially big moments and big presentations. I am definitely known as a prepper. I do have a hard inner critic, which makes me a bit antsy. And so I'll be the first one to self-critique me afterwards and ask for feedback. But I still almost get that same rush and that same nervousness as I did when I started my career. I think as you get, you know, further in your career, I think you start to become really clear on, you know, what are your key strengths? What are you really passionate about? What do you get really interested in? It was interesting for me because most of my career, I was actually a commercial lead. But the interesting part was I always worked on product businesses. And I think that helped shape where I am today. So in my previous world, I used to work with Nike on building out their digital ecosystem and Tag Heuer on their wearable ecosystem. And I think as a commercial person, you very soonly realize that it's actually not about just the finances and the commercial growth or the customer. It's actually making sure that you understand how you're running things end to end. So do we have the right processes in place? Are we organized effectively? Do we have the right people in the right places geographically to support that business? And I think for me, I'm just inherently interested in, in other disciplines. I like working cross-functionally. And so you start to kind of just get interested in what happens at every step and almost the end-to-end -end business. And so when I came to Black Swan, I had an opportunity to go on the SaaS business. And so I had a meeting with our CEO. We talked about you know what I was really strong at. He said <laughs> what I was really strong at. And it was kind of funny because we came to this conclusion, ah, this this sounds like a CEO overall. And and from there, that's just how I how I became uh, in that role. And I really haven't looked back. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to what's next. The reason why I joined a high growth company is because it is going to be fast paced. It is going to be dynamic. I mean, uh, on a regular basis, I'll get dropped into all new situations or new problems to solve. And that's that's really actually how I like it. I think there is some consistency I like to have. Uh, so you know, my ideal day would be waking up and uh, grabbing a quick workout, some coffee, and then going for a walk for about an hour. I've always walked to and from work uh, for the last 10 years, and I find that's like really valuable time for me to think through the day, what I want to get out of it, uh, what's important, what's urgent. I do one-on-ones, and I like to take those outside. I find that I'm a bit more creative and a bit more open if I'm, if I'm going for a walk, so I also use it as a time to prep for complex problems. I think mostly it's about making sure that I, I, I try to stay calm and I'm ready for whatever comes my way and I figure out how to then jump in and help solve a problem. Because for me, sometimes it is about you know planning out the next office we need to open and helping scale that. Or sometimes it's about investor meetings and making sure we're prepped for those. Or diving in to help the team with prioritization of our roadmap. And so I think it's just an ability to, you know, be able to context switch for me and, and be ready for anything. And, and you know what? I, I really like that and uh, I enjoy it. I'd say first and foremost, objectivity. I think it's critical that no matter what the situation is, no matter what the problem, you just bring a very objective view and represent the business, one that is almost allergic to bias. I think the next is empathy. Again, most businesses are cross-functional. A lot of the problems you're solving go across multiple groups and across multiple parts of the business. So making sure you really take time to understand where people are coming from, what the challenges they face, empathize with the role and, and what they're trying to do. And I think that context really helps you become a better problem solver and it gives you a better way to also connect on a, on a more personal level. I think also lateral thinking, I think, you know, there's a time for logical reasoning, but uh, sometimes you may 
actually run into a problem that you haven't faced before. And there's no book out there or someone who knows exactly how to solve it. So you are going to have to be creative in the way you do things. Lastly, I'd say most important and most is, uh, is being really good, more of a hard skill with numbers. For me, it's really important to understand what those key revenue drivers and the unit economics of the business are. I feel like once you understand how you deliver value, what your margin is, how uh, your lifetime value appears, I think it's those things that help underpin all the decisions you make and actually can help justify some of the decisions you make. So really understanding how the business works and the nuts and bolts around the numbers. I think important is also to make sure people know you are an aspiring COO. I think sometimes you keep your goals in your head and what is really helpful is making sure your network knows that you are trying to get there or your mentors or even the place that you work at. It's, it's at that point that people can start to help you and support you along the way. I know I've gotten to where I am uh, mainly through the support of my peers and my mentors and my friends who have all helped me along the way. I think it's important to continue to learn. I mean, you're going to be thrown into a lot of different situations. Your company is going to be at different stages of growth. And just like your company adapts, you have to adapt with it. And I think there's tons of resources out there to help shape your thinking, to validate your POV. And I think you need to make sure that you relentlessly pursue that. Importantly, maybe most critically is find a culture that works for you, a team that inspires you, and a mission that excites you. Because a COO is, is just a title. It doesn't matter. And at some point, you're going to go to a company and, and the newness is going to wear off. And what you want to do is still be excited, still be motivated, still be challenged. Uh, something that really pulls you in. And I think some people uh, miss that sometimes. And that's actually, I think, what's going to lead to a more enjoyable, enjoyable adventure. And I think that's my last point. For me, I'm pretty unapologetic about wanting to have fun and enjoy what I do. I mean... The jobs are stressful, right? A lot of people have a lot of stressful jobs, and I think it's important to make sure that you do enjoy it, you do have fun. And I know sometimes it's hard to find the time to do that, but I think it's important for people to really, really just be happy at what they do. And if you find yourself not, take a break, rethink things, and then go from there. But I just, I wish everybody the best of luck, and uh, see you soon.